Hello dear students, uh, today we shall discuss related to unit number 4 that is instinct and emotions and in today's uh, lecture we shall only talk about the meaning and concept of instinct. Let us start what we are supposed to discuss. So and when we have to discuss uh, regarding instinct first of all we have to see like uh, what from where and how it falls under a human behavior so under the basis and direction of human behavior we have needs we have drives we have instinct we have emotions and habit and in your semester we are supposed to talk instinct and the emotions and both are the basis and direction of the human behavior and today's class we will discuss uh, regarding the uh, instinct on this instinct and let us see what is instinct on uh, the term instinct it has originated from the latin term instincts which means impulse so the word instinct uh, it was from the latin term and its originative uh, etymological meaning it refers to impulse one of the important aspect of discussion and study in psychology is the instinct and we can say that instinct they are original or innate disposition of the living organisms and these are inborn tendencies of the living organisms to behave in a certain way without any uh, conscious behavior Instinct are the natural abilities or the skill as we have just said that it is an innate behavior the original potentialities or tendencies or feelings such as self-preservation aggression inquiry self-display hunting food seeking etc are clustered in a special term that is instinct these are the few examples where we can relate that these uh, feelings or certain kinds of uh, uh, and uh, tendencies that arises in us okay uh, are termed as the instinct and is a very complex type of innate non-variable behavior which help every higher class organism to cope with its total surroundings we have learned that instinct it is an innate disposition but we can also see that it helps every class organism higher class organism to cope with its total surroundings and in, in in each member of the species the original form of behavior that is instinct remain present in every organism or in every human being let us discuss the meaning and the concept then these are the crude form of behavior transmitted by the hereditary or genetic influences of the races of organism we can say if anyone asks us or if we need to answer or form the concept of instinct, what is instinct? We can say that instinct, they are the crude form of the behavior, the innate tendencies transmitted by hereditary or we can say it is from the genetic influence, okay, present in every human being. And it is unlearned behavior patterns as it arises innately, unconsciously, okay, we say that instinct, they are unlearned behavior patterns. These are natural and they help to lead the initial journey of life of every organism. Instinct help and encourage each member of the species to keep alive the original behavior forms and life or pattern of the races. Longman, the active study dictionary of English, has explained the term instinct as the natural force in people and animals which causes certain behavior patterns such as nest building which are not based on learning or thinking. So we can see that instinct, okay, it is a natural forces, okay, but both present in animal as well as in people okay of certain behavior where we do not we didn't learn all those activities indeed okay it is an innate disposition we can say as concise psychological dictionary edited by av uh, petrovsky and mg yarosky has given the elaborate explanation of the term instinct let us see what they have explained instinct as the dictionary explains is an evolutionary established genetically determined it is a predisposition of a representative of biological species for carrying out a stereotype set of biologically purposeful action which make it possible to obtain certain results without anticipating them and without any preliminary instructions on how to achieve them so it is uh, whenever we see any uh, kind of explanation related to instinct it just shows how that it is an innate the crude form of the behavior okay which we which we do it without learning uh, in, in a pre previous way or without any predetermined uh, 
uh, consciousness, we can say. The term instinct is commonly used to denote the most conservative and stereotype innate automatism and little realize unconscious aspect of the purposeful behavior against the background of a strong effect. So it is both existing existence in animals as well and in man. The notion of instinct is closely connected with the idea of existence of inherited programs of behavior typical of a particular species which is aimed at satisfying the vital niche of the organism and it can be interpreted from three viewpoints let us see from its genetic basis we can see uh, from neurophysiological mechanism and the totality of its behavioral manifestation Let's discuss few definitions of instinct first of all according to rose instinct is an inherited or innate disposition which determines its possessor to behave in a certain specific relation to certain specific objects. So this uh, is the view shared by Rose that he, he have talked about that it is an inherited as well as innate disposition which determine the, its possessor okay, uh, to behave in a certain specific relation to certain specific object or to certain uh, responses the how do we respond unconsciously. Let us see according to James, instinct is the faculty of acting in such a way to produce certain ends without foresight of the ends and without previous education in the performance. So uh, in both the definition we can see that it, it happens unconsciously uh, since it is an innate tendencies present in a human being or in uh, uh, any uh, living organism we can say. According to Woodward and Marquis, instinct is an unlearned form of activity which enables an animal or human beings to deal competently with something in the environment without preliminary experience and the practice. So by now we can say that we, we doesn't learn or uh, uh, to uh, to act in a certain way and uh, it is innate, it is uh, uh, unconscious that takes place without any previous experience or the practice. Let us see some of its background, how uh, it has uh, prevailed indeed. The concept uh, prevailed in the Middle Ages, it was René Descartes uh, during the year 1596 to 1650, since whose time rationalism it took new turn and instinct was first of all regarded as a form of behavior contrasted with intelligence and reason. Then after that we have uh, during the reign of uh, Charles Darwin 1809 to 1882, an English naturalist for the first time had challenged the sharp distinction between instinct in animals and reason in men. A very close uh, uh, demarcation of the instinct that is prevent in animals and the reason in men. Then we have James William from 1842 to 1910, a US philosopher and psychologist who defined instinct as the faculty of acting in such a way as to produce certain ends and without previous education in the performance we have just learned. And thus by instinct, James mean unlearned patterns of the reacting. We have Sigmund Freud, 1856 to 1936, an Austrian psychiatrist and the founder of the School of Psychoanalysis and Psychology, have offered a thorough analysis and explanation on instinct. Freud maintained that human beings are the complex energy system. He assumed two types of energy, the physiological energy and the psychic energy. Physiological energy is derived from the food we consume and it utilized for purpose like breathing, walking, running, writing, etc. Psychic energy is derived from neurophysical states of excitation and it is utilized in the psychological activities like McDougall, William McDougall, 1871-1938, to a U.S. psychologist, is mainly famous for his theory of instinct and he had developed the system of hormic psychology. Hormic is borrowed from Greek term horm, which means an arch, and in his book Introduction to Psychology, which was published in the year 1908, he have applied his most famous theory of instinct. Let us see. McDougall have defined instinct as inherited psychological disposition which determined the person to perceive or to pay attention to objects of a certain class, to experience an emotional excitement and to act in regard to it in a particular manner. That is the definition or the views shared by McDougall. So McDougall considered instinct as release mechanism or just easily exploding containers of the energy. So according to McDougall, instinct is the storage of the potential energy that is liberated into appropriate channels when that is existed. So, uh, instinct, it is one of the vital forces that strives the organism towards some sort of goal. 
It has following three aspects of functions according to McDougall. The first one is the cognitive or the perceptual aspect. The second one cognitive by motivational aspect. And the third one is affective or emotional aspect. So let us see all the three aspects. Uh, first one, the cognitive or the perceptual aspect. This relates to a perceptual predisposition to notice some stimuli. For example, to perceive certain food odor when one is hungry constitute the cognitive aspect of the instinct. Second one, that is the cognitive or motivational aspect. And this relates to our ability to move towards the final goal. Say, for example, having perceived certain food odor, we may move towards taking that food. Okay. So effective for emotional aspect, the third one, and this is the central or main part of the instinct. It relates to the feeling involved in the instinct. For example, feeling of fear is involved in the escape mechanism. Let us then discuss a few characteristics of instinct. Instinct are the innate or inborn or inherited tendencies of the living organism from various uh, definitions and concept and meaning of the instinct. We can characterize that they are the innate or inborn or inherited tendencies of the living organism. Both men and animals have some common instinct and they are self-preservation, sexual love, love of mother for her newborn offspring, the desire possessed by the newborn of spring to suck his mother's milk, etc. Instinct constitute the psychophysical aspect of a living being. Instinct, we can say they are the unlearned patterns of reacting. We also can say that they have mainly two goals. They are self-preserving and the race preserving. Instinct cannot be considered as blind and invariable. These are modifiable by habit. And this is the most important part that instinct can be modifi modified. Instinct indicate the animal nature of the man. And instinct are universally similar in all the living creatures, that is in men and animals. And only reason and intellectual abilities differentiate men from the animal. This is really very important to be notified. Instinct are the wishes to fulfill the physiological needs, and it gives impression to racial characteristics of all groups of species. And instinct are the release mechanism, we can say, or just easily exploding containers of the energy within us. And instinct are the organism towards some sort of the goals. Now, when we talk of instinct, we can uh, say related to the principal instinct and the quasi instinct. Now, what is principal instinct? Regarding the number of instinct, McDougall he have offered different views. And in 1908, he had mentioned about 12 major instinct. And these instincts were listed in the first edition of his famous book, Introduction to Social Psychology. However, experts are of the opinion that there are 14 instincts forwarded by McDougall. We will be seeing in the next slide. Quasi instinct and innate instincts are the innate tendencies which have some specific emotions. And McDougall pointed out some innate tendencies such as sympathy, suggestion, imitation, play, and habit or routine which do, which do not have any specific emotion or any specific bodily behavior. So, in the words of McDougall, such tendencies okay, are the general innate tendencies which may be called as the quasi instinct. So let us see uh, the principal 14 uh, instinct uh, forwarded by McDougall. And these are the instinct and these are the emotions or the emotional responses related to it. Escape, which is related with the emotions fear, combat, anger, repulsion, disgust, parental care, which is related with the emotions of tender emotions by love, appeal, distress, pairing, lust, curiosity, wonder, then submission, subjection, self-assertion, positive self-feeling, subjection also we can say negative self-feeling, social but rigorousness, which is related with the emotions of loneliness, food seeking, appetite, acquisition, feel of ownership, construction, creativeness, laughter, and amusement. So these are the 14 uh, principal uh, <clears throat> instinct forwarded by McDougall. And thus we can say that instinct, uh, they, they are the uh, innate tendencies or innate uh, dispositions okay, present in any living organisms. It is unlearned and uh, it exists in human being as well as in animal. But we can say that instinct can be modified, which we will share in the uh, next lecture. So thank you for today.